Hello everybody, it's time for another great question and hopefully great answer for you guys. So one of my coaches, Coach Lan, she specializes in DDM China and Perf China. She told me her students are having a hard time with some vowel pronunciation, specifically uh, the short E, short I, long I. Yeah. Um, when you guys study pronunciation, step one, the consonants. Consonants are generally easier to master than the vowels. And the American vowels can be a nightmare. The biggest problem is when it comes to vowels, the spelling doesn't necessarily match the sound, okay? And then we have, you know, different dialects. Somebody in New York and somebody in Texas and somebody in California are going to have different styles of speaking, which is going to change vowel pronunciation, especially. Mm, so vowels are a nightmare. So I'll do my best here. Uh, when I teach vowels, I teach my style, which is pretty damn standard. You know, some teachers are going to disagree, whatever, to each his own. I'll tell you this. I have traveled around the world. I have met people from almost maybe every country. Well, most countries. And everyone who speaks English has never had a problem understanding me, especially English-speaking country people. Ireland, the UK, Scotland, Wales, Canada, wherever it is, they've never, South America or South Africa, never had a problem understanding my pronunciation. But the same cannot be said for them. Many times it's really hard to understand South African English sometimes can be difficult. Australian English can be tough, right? But my English is excellent. Of course, many people will disagree. Uh, okay, so short E, short I, long I. Um, when we do short vowels, the reason we say it's short, and I'm gonna make a picture here. So this is uh, this is you, and uh, these are your lips. Oh, this is a pretty good drawing. This is your chin. You got a big chin. All right, um, and this is your hair. Beautiful. So when we do the short E, the sound starts back here in your mouth. Eh, eh, and we push it out and not really at an upward angle, but we, we push it out. Use some muscle. Eh, 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 eh. And imagine the sound is just traveling straight up. Eh, eh. Now the short I goes down. All right. The short I is even weaker, a little bit weaker. It's going to start in, in your mouth and it's going to, boom, it's just pretty much going to fall. It can come out a little bit more, uh, but not much. Eh, eh, eh. Really direct it up. Eh, 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 eh. So when we do the short E, your mouth is a little bit more open. Eh, eh. When we do the short I, it's Nothing. Eh, eh. It's actually very similar to the schwa. But anyway. Short E. Eh. 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 Short I. Eh. 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 Now we should really hear a difference. Eh. 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 Okay. The long I. Actually, it's very different. The long I. Perfect pronunciation. It's actually a diphthong, and it's I, I. So very, you got to open up a lot. Ah, that's the idea. I, and then we come into a e sound, right? Same thing with the a, by the way. A, I, and the o is also a diphthong. O. Okay. Those are important things to remember. So the short E, short I, long I. Eh. Eh. I. Does that help? Well, 
Let's practice a sentence here. I, I hit, hit the nice, nice bed, bed, and slept, slept, slept instantly, instantly. I hit the nice bed and slept instantly. I hit the nice bed and slept instantly. So for me, I'm a native English speaker. This is really easy. I don't have to think at all. But for you guys, I want you to think, especially the short I and short E. Think about the traje trajection, how you're sending out the sound. I, I, eh, eh. Okay, it's going to help. By the way, if you really want to fix your pronunciation, you need a coach like Coach Lan, Coach Matt. We got so many great coaches. Join our classes. www.letsmasterenglish.com slash free. All right. Join. And we always have live classes. Always have live classes. It's incredible. Okay. So I hit, hit, hit the nice. So I, I'm not going to worry about the long eyes. They're so different. I'm just going to focus on this this, this, and this. Okay, so here we go. I hit, hit, hit the nice bed, 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 and slept, slept, slept instantly, instantly, slept instantly, instantly. I hit the nice bed and slept instantly. Let's do the words below. Hid, hid, head, head, hide, hide, hid, head, hide, hid, head, hide, hid, head, hide, bid, bed, bide, bid, bed, bide, bid, bed, bide, bid, bed, bide, bid, Bed bide, slept, 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 slipped, 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 slept, slipped, slept, slipped, slept, slipped, slept, slipped. Tough stuff. Vowel, like I've said, vowel sounds are the last thing. Uh, ESL students should worry about if your pronunciation of consonants is not perfect, go back to consonants. Okay. Once those are perfect, then move on to vowels. American English, what, what kids are taught in school is we have two variations. We got short sounds and long sounds. Those rules are a little bit strange, but that's what we're taught. And the spelling is a nightmare. Look, this, uh, uh, actually, these examples aren't good. Uh, I can show you, when it comes to spelling, the spelling of a word, this is a head, bed, uh, that's too easy. Anyway, anyway, the spellings can be really crazy. You can get some really crazy uh, spellings, and the spelling doesn't match the vowel sounds many times. So it takes lots of practice, and don't worry, I'm here to help. If you join our classes, you'll be mastering pronunciation very, very soon. That's it. I hope this helps. Uh, once again, you can get our free lessons, www.letsmasterenglish.com slash free. And if you have any questions about our lessons, help at letsmasterenglish.com. Um, and yeah, you can sign up too. By the way, this is... Uh, March 24th, 2020, right now the world is experiencing the COVID-19 virus. Lots of people are scared. Lots of people are home. Not everybody is scared, but almost everybody is home. And because of this situation, uh, my wife said that I should offer some sort of a uh, a discount for people who uh, are studying or are, are stuck at home but want to study English, need something to do. So yeah, we're going to have uh, some sort of special uh, 
discount. Uh, I don't know how much it's going to be. It'll probably start tomorrow, which is uh, for me, once again, it's Tuesday night. So Wednesday, March 25th. And we'll put, uh, I don't know where, sign up for the, sign up here. And in the email, I'll send you a link, www.letsmasterenglish.com slash free. You get free lessons plus uh, my newsletter. And uh, I'll make sure that I include information there. So if you want to join the classes, you can get a discount for probably just a month or maybe two months. Uh, but uh, anyway, it's great. You get to study English, study with me, and uh, help pass the time. All right, guys, that's it. Thanks a lot. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.